In this video, we will talk about if you already have a pet dog terrier, what would it would be the best other dog breed to uh, keep with it. So not to mix with it, but to keep with it. And in my opinion, <laughs> you see that I already have two pet dog terriers, so you should not be uh, fooled that you need to go to another breed. But if you want to. If you want additional features for your breed, it depends a lot what you want, of course. If you are in the performance type of dogs and you want to use them for the original purpose, and that pet will tell you original purpose would normally be uh, a dog for hunting, especially below ground. So tell your work against badger and uh, fox. Then, and indeed another pet dog terrier could be a good choice because then you could, if they are in a burrow, you can throw in a, a fresh one, especially yet to badger. But that is not really supplementing their capabilities to a high degree. You could also go for a dog that's more of a jack of all trades. So for example, a German hunting terrier, German jacht terrier, so to say which has a little bit better nose and is also more of a baying type so if you want a dog that uh, gets less damage normally and can also have sniff out better blood trails for example or the prey or even uh, being a retriever to some degree perhaps that could be a good choice and still German Jagdterrier can also be worked underground. Another dog that you could consider then would be, uh, for example, the Heide Terrier if you are hunting on larger uh, animals, for example, boar. The uh, Pet Terrier is a little bit uh, small, Heide Terrier could be a good fit, or any other cross that's specifically bred for that purpose. But in this video we'll keep the pure, pure bad dogs. Hydrater is not recognized, but it's a pure bad, not a mix. So I'm not talking about uh, dogs like the Bull Russell. Another dog to consider is when you're uh, really hunting and you also are doing some uh, hunt above ground. <coughs> you could consider uh, joining them with a, a lurcher. But that's not a pure bad dog, so for example, a greyhound of working stock or a, a whippet of working stock. And if you want to have a dog that can still go underground, you could be very uh, uh, lucky and get a good Bellington Terrier. So Bellington Terriers have some also running dog blood, but also terrier blood. It makes a great mix. And Bettington Terriers are a lot smaller than Whippets are. So you get a dog that is suitable to do a little bit of work on the ground, perhaps, in the bigger burrows. It still is very fast above ground as well, and has a good protective, protective coat to uh, have additional benefits for you. Another of those type of dogs is, is less known, which is the Manchester Terrier, which also has a little bit of Whippet blood next to black and tan terrier blood. The black and tan terrier was one of the ancestors of the Petterdale. If you however work more above ground, for example against uh, raccoons, bigger raccoons as you turn even coyotes, a Savage Bull Terrier of working lines, an English Bull Terrier or an American Pimple Terrier might be a good addition to your pack. Those dogs are also quite capable of uh, helping out with uh, hunting for boars. They are just fantastic little dogs. If you want to have a big sledgehammer, a dog or a or American Bulldog, especially Scott type, would be a very nice bet. I think from the pure bed dogs, these are the most important on the list. You could also go for a protection type of dog, for example, a boar bull or Villa Brasileiro, or big ones to be supplemented with the smaller ones that you have. And the petrol terrier will help out. 
So then the small dog helps alerting and can also be an additional companion to protect. But the bigger dog does a real work, the man stopping ability. And from the purebred dogs, I think the Bourbon, the Fila Brasileiro are the best ones at this moment. Because they have been kept for working abilities for a longer time than, for example, Bull Mastiff and uh, English Mastiff for Do Dr. Bordeaux. Because in the la later years, they have been more used as a show dog instead of a performance dog. Also, the American Bulldog that I mentioned before could be a very good candidate. Hope you like this uh, small video. Have a great day. Out.